Dirk, I heard the dribbling is terrible. Dirk, I heard you can't speed boost. Shut the f up. Yes, you can. You can dribble. You can speed boost. The dribbling is not bad. It's just going to take some time to get used to. I have 15 dribble moves that I want to show you. And I promise you, if you watch this video and pay attention, you will have a massive advantage going into NBA 2K25. Let's jump right into this and start with speed boosting. Now, don't get me wrong. Speed boosting is a lot different in NBA 2K25. There are two separate ways to speed boost and they are totally different. One is out of your escapes and then the other one is just out of any other move let's start with the escape if you tried to speed boost how you did on 24 this is how it looks looks absolutely awful right so pay attention because i do not want you dribbling like that this is how it's supposed to look when you are speed boosting out of the escape correctly pretty much how this year works is the whole animation plays out before you can even run and when you do run you don't even run fast so it's like what's the point of the escape you actually have to cancel the escape to be able to speed boost now how do you do this let's say the ball is starting in your left hand you're going to be holding your right trigger the entire time you're going to flick your right stick up diagonal right to hit your escape just like last year and then you're gonna flick it again in that same direction to cancel it and then you're gonna run out of it but you have to angle the left stick kind of diagonal up as well it was a lot harder for me to get the animation and I would say close to impossible when the left stick was not at an angle going up in all transparency the timing on this to my knowledge again with the dribble moves I was provided was actually pretty complicated to get down I'm not gonna lie but with practice over time we will all be able to do this oh i almost forgot shout out to koza he was the first person at community day to figure this out and he taught me how to speed boost out of the escapes now for speed boosting out of other moves i'm not gonna lie to you i did not figure out how to speed boost out of certain things i had a really hard time figuring out how to speed boost out of the snatch this is the best one i got and it's still not even that good and here it is if you just do it completely wrong but of course i'm going to teach you what i did figure out and the easiest one in my opinion is out of the signature size up this is a timing thing as you know last year if you wanted to speed boost out of your signature size up with Kyrie Irving dribble style, for example, you just flicked your right stick up and then ran, right? This time there is a delay. You just have to wait, like you wait a millisecond before you actually run. So you're gonna hit your size up, wait a half a second and then run. And remember your left stick is going diagonal up. It was very hard for me to speed boost going side to side. So left stick diagonal up. As far as the other stuff, it's the same thing. There's gonna be a delay before you run. It's just the timing is a little different and I need to play the game more and practice more to give you guys the actual answer so make sure you turn on the notice and subscribe once I figure this all out I will definitely be dropping it for you I heard they took John Wall out of the game but bro this is better than John Wall cross in my opinion look at the Magic Johnson crossover well I think it's a Magic Johnson crossover but bro look how much space I'm creating especially paired with the left stick cross how I've been doing in these clips just imagine hitting the left stick cross about around the screen and then the magic cross to the basket i don't know if it's just because the player is big or the crossover is just godly i think it's godly and the best thing about this is you can kind of like change direction instantly like going from side straight to the basket I feel like on 2K24 with the wall cross, you had to be going, you know, relatively straight. It felt like with the Magic Johnson crossover, I could, I could, I was able to cross towards the basket, even though I was kind of still going sideways. I think this is going to be super glitchy. I mean, look at it compared to the uh, De'Aaron Fox crossover. Like the De'Aaron Fox crossover is definitely still good, but it's not like it's not creating as much space and not launching you as much as the Magic. I personally am not going to make my first build without this Magic Johnson crossover. Do y'all remember? Remember John Morant aggressive breakdown from 2K24? Well, here it is, but this year you are now able to spam it. And I already know someone is gonna figure out a glitchy combo with this. And you can spam any other aggressive breakdown combo. And yes, you can speed boost out of it. I didn't get the super fast speed boost, but I did get a decent one. I still gotta figure out how to get the super fast one. How you do this is very easy. You're holding your right trigger and just spamming up on your right stick. That is it. If you do the explosive behind the back, like on 2K24, it's just gonna give you your signature size up behind the back unless some dribble style is going to change this but to my knowledge this is how it works look at the difference this is what i'm talking about that is just me doing his signature size up behind the back his real behind the back is this right here okay that one see how it's like a completely different animation so if you did not figure out how to do it you're going to hit a hezzy in that same hand and then go down diagonal right or left to the opposite hand 
while holding turbo and that's how you get your explosive behind the back to my knowledge jamal murray is not in the game i know there's a lot of people that are happy about that i am not happy about that but anyway i'll find a good behind the back for you guys don't worry good news is you can still spam your behind the back it's very easy you're holding your right trigger the entire time you're gonna flick your right stick right to hit your hezzy then you're gonna flick it down diagonal left then you're gonna flick it left to hit your hezzy again and then down diagonal right back to the other side and just spam that over and over again start out slow and then speed it up over time and this i literally learned this in 30 seconds it's not that complicated once i figured out the behind the back spam i was like i wonder if you could do it with the escape and would you look at that i was right and it's the same thing except of flicking except excuse me except flicking your stick down diagonal right or left you're flicking it up a diagonal right or left after you hit the ezzy this is like the new version of left stick canceling i could not get the left stick cancel to work you probably can still do it but i like i said i need to test the game more it only dribbled for like two a little over two hours i feel like i got a lot of information and figured out a lot of stuff but there's still a lot more dribbling to be done if you have any questions for me at all and you need them answered or you need more people to play with or you just want to connect with me more join my discord the link will be in the description let's get back into the video to my knowledge i was the only one at community day that actually was able to somewhat l2 cancel it's not pretty it's absolutely terrible like there's no way it's gonna like doing it like this there's no way it's gonna be effective unless you like hit them into the screen and then shoot off of it like that but even then bro like so i still need to figure this out i have a feeling there's a way to speed boost out of it because i technically did l2 like i did stop in my track and hit the escape in the other direction but it's definitely not effective or ideal this needs a lot of work i have a feeling within a few weeks of the game people are going to figure out actually how to use this effectively you are still able to do a snatch back spam it's the same thing as the behind the back except down diagonal you're just flicking your right stick down down, so you're gonna hit your hezzy right stick down hezzy in the other hand right stick down so right down left down right down left down that's how you spam your snatch back start off slow speed it up and you'll be able to spam it at full speed look at the d fox left stick cross bro Woo! that might be the new pro cross in 2k25 not gonna lie but yes the left stick cross is still in the game now this is very unique to this game and this was dependent on the player i was using the angle of the left stick when i was doing this was different like slightly different for all the all of the players excuse me and when you could do it uh was dependent on the player so i assume that's with the dribble style and with certain players i could only do it out of moves or like i had to do a move first it was it was very weird just have to play around with it more obviously when the game comes out but the left stick crossing is still in the game this was very interesting to me you guys see that left stick cross it's not a left stick cross it's actually his escape you know it's just like any other escape it isn't new but it's like a new type of animation i guess you can get with certain escapes i'm doing it how you would do any other one holding the right trigger and going up diagonal right or left on your right stick and that's the animation i'm getting just think of the combos you could do with this i'm thinking just off the top of my head around a screen left stick cross this escape into a snatch back or into a john wall hot back like you're gonna be wide open i'm super excited to combo with these types of escapes and i'm just super excited for 2k25 drop a like if you're excited as well let's get into the next move i know you guys are gonna be watching this thinking dirk why are you showing this to us this is stupid like you're not gonna be able to get open off of this okay and I'm not going to lie to you. This is literally just me flicking up and down, right, left, diagonal, whatever, with the left stick. And I can just tell off of the movements and off of the spin backs and off of the just everything you can do, you're going to be able to combo crazy with these. Steezo is about to love the dribbling. Absolutely love it. The fact that you can dribble and hold yourself backwards, like Steezo is about to go crazy, bro. But I just have a feeling the left stick dribbling and the combos you're going to be able to do is about to be glitchy, especially like left writing. Like you guys saw in this first clip right here, I am left writing back and forth. Just imagine doing that around a screen. So left stick dribbling is probably going to be really OP. We just need to figure out how to use it effectively. Thank you, 2K, for bringing us some type of quick stop slash peek into NBA 2K25. I am not going to lie. These were just okay, and I had a hard time figuring this out. This was one of the last things I recorded. I literally did this in like a few minutes trying to get it. It's not like the, cre the previous quick stops. I could not do it going 
horizontal with my um, left stick. I could only do it when I was going diagonal up, just how like you would speed boost. And in my testing, it seemed like I couldn't do it in the middle of a speed boost. It had to like end. Like you could only do it when the speed boost was over, but I don't know. We'll have to see, we'll have to test it. As soon as I figure it out, or as soon as my friends figure it out, I will for sure drop the tutorial for you guys. So make sure you turn on those notifications and subscribe to my channel. The goaded hotback, the LeBron hotback, the wall hotback, whatever you want to call it, is in the game still. I love this move. I think we all do. A lot of people hate it, but I love it. It's so my, it, it, it's so good. But anyway, to spam it, it's kind of hard to explain. You basically are just flicking down on your right stick without turbo. Then you're gonna move your left stick up right after and then quickly flick down again on your right stick. I really can't explain it any better than that. It just has to do with the timing, but that's how you spam it. I found two spin backs. One is this D Fox one. That is the 2K24 Steve Nash spin back. And then the other one is a left stick spin back, which I did with DeMar DeRozan. This is more of like a Steezo spin back. And I'm really happy that these are both in the game. I cannot wait to combo up with these both. So anyway, to do the Steve Nash one with D Fox, you're just going to run. And if you're going right, you're going to be holding turbo the entire time. And you're going to rotate your right stick clockwise. Now, as you're rotating your right stick, you're never letting go of the left stick. So let's say you're running right, right? So it's already gonna be held up diagonal, right? You're gonna slowly rotate it to the top left on your left stick. And it's for the DeMar DeRozan, not gonna lie, completely forgot how I did it. It was an accident. But if I had to guess, it is rotating your left stick clockwise or counterclockwise down toward the other ball hand. All right, I'm gonna be completely transparent and I'm gonna give you my honest thoughts on dribbling on NBA 2K25. First things first, keep in mind, I was just using the NBA player's dribble animations. I could not pick my own custom animations. Also keep in mind that I only dribbled for a little over two hours. As soon as I picked up that virtual basketball, I was like, whoa, okay. This is definitely not like 2K24 and it's pretty unique from any other dribble system we've ever had in any NBA 2K. So at first it's gonna feel very different and very strange, like we're not used to it. But the more I dribbled and the more I tried things and the more I just played around with it, I started to like it more and more. If I had to make an educated guess, once we all have the game and all of the best players in the world are trying to figure out how to do what and do moves and everything and all of that good stuff, I think the the dribbling is going to be good. Could I be wrong? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. All I'm saying is from my first 20 minutes to my last 20 minutes dribbling, I figured out a lot of stuff. And if I figured out a lot of stuff, imagine what the entire community is going to figure out over the course of a year. If you guys want God tier 2K25 content, make sure you hit the subscribe button. You will not regret it. I promise you that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a good day. Go out. <laughs>